So what are the most important skills and mindset shifts for an entrepreneur to be successful? I mean, there's so much that falls under there, but what comes to mind first and foremost is forward momentum and comfort with ambiguity and I guess in the face of ambiguity. There's this great line out of this book called The Hard Thing About Hard Things uh, by Ben Horowitz. And in that book, he articulates, there are some interesting ideas, but the one that jumps out to me is this articulation that, you know, decisions are binary, right? You either go left or you go right. Or, you know, if there's three options, they're trinary, etc. But, you know, you get to a crossroads, you go 100% left or 100% right. But certainty is not binary. You can be 80% sure that the left fork is the right one and 20% sure that the right fork is, but you can't go 80% left and 20% right. You have to go 100% one way. And should you gather information to, you know, get from 80 to 90%? Maybe if you can quickly and easily. But what a lot of people do is it's fuzzy. It's not clear. Maybe they only know 55, 45%. And so they just kind of park at that fork and that's how you go nowhere. And so being able to keep moving forward in the face of ambiguity and tolerating ambiguity, being able to look at something and say, there's a lot here that I don't know, but I'm moving forward anyway with the best understanding I have. This is what I've found to be the hardest for entrepreneurs, either doing it in the first place or then recognizing that that means sometimes things are not going to work out, right? The, the faster you're trying to go, the bigger, a, excuse me, the bigger a game you're trying to play, the more things are going to not work out in the macros, in the micro sense. But as long as you keep moving forward in the macro sense, you know, it, it tends to sort itself out as long as you keep on going. But if you can't handle that ambiguity, you get stuck. And if you can't handle the consequences of that ambiguity, which will sometimes be things not working out, sometimes in a small way, sometimes in a big way, then same thing. You just stall out in a different way, right? The lesson from something not working out is not not to take chances. It's to learn from the chances and, and be better at risk mitigation, right? Whenever someone's considering doing something as like a client, I advise them, look, you want to ask yourself, how good will it be if I'm right? How bad will it be if I'm wrong? And hopefully there's an asymmetry to it, right? The upside is a lot bigger than the downside and the downside is not crippling. You can tolerate it. And then the third question is how quickly can I find out? And then use those as your barometers to move forward. But you know, there are a lot of technical skills that you need to learn, of course, as an entrepreneur, you know, marketing, leadership, product creation, et cetera, et cetera. But if you are comfortable with ambiguity, you're moving forward, you're learning from things as you go, you'll eventually round out all the other skills you need. But the other way, if you have some of the skills, but you aren't able to handle ambiguity, you aren't able to keep moving forward, it, it almost doesn't matter how skilled you are. Sooner or later, you're going to get to a stuck point, and then you're not going to move forward. So handling ambiguity and being able to keep moving forward um, most most important thing for an entrepreneur and if you want to understand kind of the the science behind it a little bit there's a fantastic book about handling ambiguity called nonsense by jamie holmes and i highly recommend it but however you go about it and let's not say it's easy handling ambiguity is one of the hardest things for human beings to do there's this famous experiment where People would get like they're hooked up to electrodes and they get like mild electric shocks now and then, or they can push the button and zap themselves. And it's a harder zap. And people would rather zap themselves than not know when the zap is coming. That's that's how that's how aggressively averse we are to ambiguity. And we've all had that experience in real life where, you know, you have a relationship with someone and there's a, a situation or a conversation that needs to be handled delicately. And you know that if you just give it time, it'll blow over, it'll shrink, it'll be fine. But you can't handle the ambiguity. So you rush ahead, you basically blow the whole situation up. Um, you can't do that <laughs> as an entrepreneur. You just, you, you can't allow yourself that luxury. So handling ambiguity and moving forward. Mm -hmm.